I want to take a moment today to speak about joy. When I ponder this time of year, joy and gratitude overwhelm my spirit. For the past eight years, I've had the pleasure of singing with several ensembles within my schools and communities during the holidays. To this day, whenever I hear Christmas time is here, Hark the Herald Angels Sing and Handel's Hallelujah, I'm reminded of the wonderful music I enjoyed performing. A classic that will forever be ingrained into my memory is Joy to the World. With its gorgeous melody, the song is a staple during Christmas time. But have you ever pondered what the lyrics mean to you? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven, heaven and nature sing. Those words never fail to bring me chills. This piece is a reminder that our joy is the Lord. What a wonderful blessing to have a Savior who reigns over the earth with such grace, truth, and love. In light of this message, I was curious and searched how many times joy is mentioned in the Bible. According to the internet, the English Standard Version mentions joy, rejoice, and joyful 430 times compared to happy or happiness, which only appears 10 times. In this finding, I take away that happiness is temporary, whereas joy signifies a long-lasting fulfillment and deep affection in God's holy presence. In Luke chapter 2, we read the famous story of an angel appearing to the shepherds, keeping watch over their flock by night. The shepherds are filled with great fear, and as we hear in these two famous verses, the angel said to them, Fear not! For behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. What a soothing thought! That same Savior who heals the sick, a Savior who promotes the poor and strengthens the weak, and ultimately a Savior who died on the cross for our sins to grant us eternal life. As I reread these joyous events and sing beautiful music this season, I ponder how I can practice joy in the Lord in my everyday life. With a life full of ups and downs, are you exemplifying temporary happiness in only the good moments? Or are you exemplifying permanent joy by trusting that God has your best interest at heart in the highs and lows? As the staple tune later proclaims, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. As you celebrate this Advent season into the new year, continue to give gratitude and praise to the Lord for being our eternal joy. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. <laughs>